In Brown County, a recruitment of poll workers is still underway. As Eric Richards tells us, the incentive for taking the job is growing. We are just a few weeks away from the general election on Tuesday, November 3rd. Some voters are choosing to vote by absentee or mail-in ballot. But for others who want to vote in person, poll workers are needed. But given the COVID-19 pandemic, how has recruitment been in Brown County? Actually, our recruitment has been very robust. Brown County needs a few more workers to reach their staffing goal. One other thing that we'd like to have for our polling locations is someone to help clean. Um, so that cleaning in between voters is good for the voters as well as for the poll workers. Poll workers are an essential part of in-person voting, and they are needed and necessary in order to keep the system running smoothly. Brian Johnson is an alderman who also serves as a poll worker. It was a great experience uh, to be able to get out and, and understand the hard work that our poll workers do every single election without even thinking twice about it. If you are interested in becoming a poll worker, there is a financial incentive. We are able to pay a poll workers two hundred. $110 more dollars for a total of $350 if they work the entire day. There is also money for training that could add up to $390 for a 14 hour day. In Green Bay, Eric Richards, Local 5 News. And Eric contacted the Pierce City Hall, who said they are fully staffed for their four polling stations. If you'd like more information on becoming a poll worker, just visit our website at uh, wearegreenbay.com.